Hey Jennifer, have you done your um, double unders and overhead squats for the day? Oh my goodness, thank you for reminding me. Yeah, no problem. Shake it off these electronics anyhow. Thank you. This past week at Competitive Edge, we challenged all of our athletes to take one week away from electronics. They had to spend one week away from their TV, their iPad, and reduce the amount of time on their phone as much as possible. And during this week, they had to journal. They had to journal how it felt and what they did in replace of those hours that they would spend on their electronics. When I've been grading their homework, a lot of them would say that they've been spending up to three to four hours a day on these electronics. And that this past week, they found themselves bored. Well, I don't understand that because if you truly want to get to your best version of yourself or your true potential, we encourage athletes all the time to do overhead squats, double unders, go outside and shoot pucks. You have to write down these goals. Michael Masucci was here this past week, who's an author and a coach, and he taught us the difference between spending time versus investing time. And a lot of these kids notice that they've been spending time almost two full months every year has been added up in the hours that they have been putting forth on electronics. And the way that we've been seeing how this is so detrimental, not only just they're not working their brain like God has created us to use our brain, but God has created us to move. Well, if you're sitting down and then we go out on the ice with these guys, they can't move because they're so tight spending three to four hours a day sitting down watching their iPad or electronics or video games. How are you seeing this in the weight room, Josh? Yes, like Coach Jennifer said, if you guys have been following us for a while, you know we are huge on mobility. So to give you a little visual, because as what Michael Masucci said, our brain works in images. So imagine that I'm holding a bow and arrow. So if I want that arrow to go as far as I can that way, if I only pull it this far, there's not a lot of potential energy there. Or there's not a lot of pull that's gonna project that arrow forward. But if I pull all the way to the full capacity of the arrow, in the bow, it's gonna go as long as it can. And that's the same way our body works. So if we're doing squats, we see it all the time, kids are unable to get their hips below and then they'll come up on their toes and they don't know how to squat. So it's not only a restriction in their soft tissue and the muscle, but also neurological. Their brain has forgotten how to turn on certain muscles. They cannot hinge anymore. Kids are always just leaning forward because they're stuck in that position. So when we're trying to reverse all of this stuff, we're asking them, are you working on any of this movement and capacity that you guys have on your own time? And that's when they're saying, no, we're, we're not. So we need to move our body all the time to its full capacity. We all should be able to squat all the way down on our heels and stand up. You as a human being have that capacity, arms straight overhead. And what they're not realizing is all that time spent on the electronics is making them tighter tighter and tighter and that's not even saying if they're doing the wrong things so if they're already forward in their shoulders and then they're just doing thousands of reps of bench presses that's adding fuel to that fire so they're more prone to an injury because if you're not working through the full range of motion then you're not strong in your tissues or your muscles at the end range which is going to leave you more susceptible to an injury so how are you seeing this out on the ice jennifer well things like goalie shuffle or lateral movements for their stride they're so tight, they can't get that full leg extension. Their groins are tight. Again, like Josh said, they're hunched over. They can't get low. And what breaks my heart as a coach working for them, they're trying so hard and then they get frustrated because they're not seeing an increase in their performance. And so number one thing that our bodies are meant to do, like Josh said, is mobility. Don't focus so much on the strength. The guys that have been with us and believe wholeheartedly in our program and don't do anything else outside of here are performing the best especially this past week with testing. And they are enjoying it because they're seeing their improvements. So we wanna encourage you guys, are you spending time or are you investing time? Get off the electronics, get those overhead squats done every day, work on your jump roping, and have that accountability partner that, like Josh did to me, get off the electronics, have you done your double unders today, have you done one-legged squats, because we need to get you guys mobile in order to get that full range of motion for your power output. Absolutely, and that's going to lead to one thing that Greg Munson said when he came in, and that is focusing on your why, the purpose, and that is why are you doing that motion? So are you doing it just to get strong and powerful, which is needed. Those are qualities that you need as an athlete, but the why needs to be, so I'm moving good because there's a hierarchy of needs, which is going to be mobility at the bottom, stability, strength, then power. So people want to start at the top and go to the bottom because they just want to lift all of that weight. 
versus moving quality so they can lift all that weight for a long period of time and they have a long athletic career. Amen. So make sure you guys go to our website at ceskating.com. Sign up for our Sunday email. This is where you get words of wisdom for your week as well as our training class schedule for the entire week. Also make sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Booyah!